So we're ready to test our help application, that is our chain of responsibility design pattern example. And this is the way we're going to do it. We're going to create a program named test help and define these help constants in this test help example like this. And I'm going to create an application object. That's the last link in the chain, as you recall. And then we're going to create an intermediate layer object. That is the second link in the chain. Passing it its successor, that is the final link in the chain, which is the app object of the application class. They're going to create the first link in the chain, the front end, so called, and we're going to pass the front end constructor the its successor in the chain, which is the intermediate layer object. And then we're going to say front end, that's the first link in the chain, dot get help, general help. Now this general help constant equals three, so you know that the intermediate layer will not be able to handle the help request, the front end will not be able to handle the request, so it's up to the application object, which is the last link in the chain, to handle the request. When it does handle the request, you should see a message saying this is the Mega Gigaco application, and we'll take a look at that here in this running test help, and there you see it's indeed worked. The request for help has passed down the chain of responsibility and was handled by the last link of the chain, which you see is this is the Mega Giga Co application. So once again, the idea behind the chain of responsibility design pattern is to have a, a subject that calls an object a first link in the chain, and if that link in the chain can handle the request, it does so. If not, it passes it on to its successor in the chain, the next link in the chain. And if that object cannot handle the request, it passes the request on to the third link in the chain and so forth on down the line. That's why it's called the chain of responsibility design pattern. You see, it's a good one. It allows you to distribute your request handling, as you see here, and from, from link in the chain to the next link in the chain, next link in the chain. So there's, so there's many times, many cases in which this design pattern will prove useful to you.